Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to add to my pencil hugger collection with the basic boy design that you see here. The girl and the lemur are already posted on my site. To make the boy, you will need a rainbow loom or any loom that's set up with the staggered position, and you'll need at least four colors of rubber bands. You'll need 11 in the color you want the hair to be, 27 in the color of the skin, two for the eyes, 22 for the shirt, nine for the shorts, and two for the shoes. And of course, you could use the same color for the shoes and hair or the shorts and eyes if you wanted to use fewer colors total. And this is how you get started. Take a single rubber band in the color you want the hair to be. Place it where the arrow is, in the center row, down. Then take two at a time from that center peg out to the side. And again from that same center peg to the other side. Then also in the hair color, two going straight down on each of the sides and in the center. Like that. Then switching to whatever color you're going to use for the skin in each of the three rows, two at a time. And then put two more just in the center row, going forward. And then two from the bottom on the side to the center peg. And two from the other side of the face to the center. And here we're going to take two for the neck and bring them forward for the center. And on this spot right here you have an option if you would like a more defined chin then add one more rubber band wrapped around this peg three times. And that will create a better shaped chin. Then switching to the color you want the shirt to be Take two rubber bands from the center out to the side and then the center again out to the other side and then two down for each of the rows so on the side and the center and the other side And then another set in each of the rows, two at a time, side, center, and the other side, like that. Then switching to the color you want the shorts to be, from the center to the side, and again from the center to the other side and we're going to construct now his shorts and legs on this row so taking two in the color of his shorts and then two in the color of the skin Then switching to two of the color of his shoes and back to two of the skin and two, again changing colors, back to the shorts color. This will all make sense in a little bit. And then on the very end, one more rubber band in the color of the shorts wrapped around this peg three times.
just like that. And then this row, we're going to make his arms and sleeves. So starting with the color of his shirt, then switching to the color of his skin. And for this one, we're going to want to add the hand at the middle. So we're going to take a single rubber band, wrap it around this peg three times, then put two more bands on here. Then use your hook to catch those three bands that you just put underneath and bring it up and over the peg like that. And those will be the hands where they meet together and then two more for his other arm and then switching back to the color of his shirt for his sleeve. And then one more rubber band in the shirt color wrapped around this peg three times. And now we just need to add the triangle bands for the shirt around these three. And for the face, around these three. But before we place the one around here, you make a decision. If you have small beads and want to use those for the eyes, you can. You would put two of those beads on a single band. If you want to use rubber bands, though, like I am, take the color you want the eyes to be, wrap it around this peg where the hair changes to skin put it around three times there and do that on this one as well one two three times around like that then take a single band across those three pegs and then we're going to do what we did down here for the hands just to bring the eyes onto this triangle band. So catching the three underneath and bringing them over. And if, say, you were to leave one behind like I just did, that's okay. Just go back and get it now until all three of those loops are around the triangle band here. And then do that again on this side. Get all three up and over that peg like that and we are ready to begin looping these bands starting at the bottom of the shirt sleeve bring your hook back in and catch those two bands and bring them forward like that again for this one and again here. And just keep going until you hit the spot where there are his shorts. So right here. Now we're going to relocate this chain. So put your hook in there. Put your thumb over it so you don't lose it. And pop that off. And then we're going to position this piece right over the shoulder here. But unlike what I was going to do, you want to make sure that the hands, these three bands, are actually facing down. So I'm going to do it this way. That way when it wraps across the body, the little hands will be in the right position. So you see there they are. That's the way it goes on. So then coming back down here to catch the shorts and his leg and 
and his shoes, and then his other leg, and his shorts. And you can take this top two bands that are the color of his shorts, bring those to the center, and then the two that are the color of his shirt can go forward. And then we're going to pop this portion off and wrap it around and stretch that over this peg. Rawr, I can do it. There we go. Just like that. So that now he's got his shorts connected and we can move on. So now you can come in here and catch those two bands that are the color of his shorts and bring those to the center here. And then come back in here and get his t-shirt and start bringing that forward. Only one though. We need to attach the other arm before we work there. But we can do the center one now. Just like that. And one more in the center. And coming over to this arm, we can bring this one forward to lock that arm in place. And coming in here to catch the two on the bottom that make his shoulder. And now we're ready to wrap his arm across his body like this and stretching open that cap band and placing it over the other shoulder peg, like that. Then you can come in here and catch his t-shirt side up to his shoulder and in here to get his shoulder and bring that to the center. His whole body is constructed now. We're ready to do his neck reaching in here to get the two skin toned bands that are all the way at the bottom. Bring them up and around the peg like that. And then in here, two bands that go to the left side of the face. The next two that are in the stack Go to the right side of the face and then the final two go in the center and we can work our way up now. The left, center, and right. And then we can do the top of the head from the left to the center and from the right to the center. And we have just one rubber band to go. This one right here, you catch it, bring it up, then bring the other half of that rubber band onto your hook. And we're going to create a slip knot very easily by taking this side of the rubber band and put it in the center of that side like that and then giving a little tug up with that center one. Now if it's very tight you don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to break this rubber band so you'll just use your hook to take all these bands off and then you can give it a tug to secure it. And we're ready to take our boy pencil climber off the loom. I loosen the sides first this way and this way and 
and get the chin off. And that one, and this one. Whew. And then we can pull up the center, but when you get to the neck, you really want to put your hook in there too, because there's so many bands on this one spot. And then you can come off the loom, just your hand. And there he is. Now, if you're not going to be hanging him from this loop, you'll want to hide it by turning it around, bringing in your hook, and pulling that loop back down and in. And you'll probably need to do that twice to make that loop disappear. And the other thing you'll want to do is give his eyes a tug to the front so that they're no longer visible from the back of his head, like that. And then he's ready to be attached to your pencil or your hook or on a bracelet, wherever it is you would like him to climb. He is ready to go. If you haven't yet, give this video a big thumbs up below and write a comment to let me know where you're gonna put your new pencil climber or who you're gonna give it to and what you'd like to see me make next. I hope you'll also subscribe because I've got about 150 other projects already on my channel and more coming soon and I would love the chance to loom with you again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.